All right. So today I'll be your host, Cole Fox. I am your solutions engineer here at Drone Sense. We'll be covering basic training on our MSAT or mobile streaming and tracking. So in our agenda today, we'll be MSAT, what it is and how it how it works, MSAT setup and demo, hardware considerations, and QA at the end. So what is MSAT? MSET is a mobile streaming and tracking functionality that allows DroneSense users to expand their streaming and tracking capabilities beyond their drone fleet to their mobile devices. For tracking capabilities beyond their drone fleet to their mobile devices, ground robotics, tactical drones, and even unmanned assets because not every scene needs a drone. What this does, it, it works on Android and iOS compatibility. Multiple device avatars to match your unit, so you can have everything from a fire engine, police truck, iPhone, iPad, a dog, a helicopter. There's quite a few different ones in there, and some Easter eggs and hidden in there, too, for that. Use tracking with or without the camera feed, visible on OpsHub and to other mobile app users, so your drone that is in the air up on the map will be able to see the location of that device uh, on their actual mapping side there, too, along with OpsHub. We are hardware agnostic. If you have an Android capture card, allows compatibility with most any camera system. So that allows you to bring in any type of HDMI feed in. We also work on manned aviation, aero computers, Churchill, ground robotics, iRobot, Boston Dynamics, tactical drones, GoPros, works with stream notifications and mission sharing functionality. And it is an additional monthly cost. Any questions, comments, concerns on that so far? Okay, so let's go through what this will actually look like on your system. I do have mine up here. You can see it does populate up on the map here. We can go down to my location. I do a lot of demos every day of the week. So as you can see, there are icons thrown all over the map here uh, from my actual drones, MSET, and mobile and DFR all thrown in here. So one thing that we can do in this is stream the exactly what the drone is seeing. As you're seeing, looking out across my front yard, you can see the direction in which that icon is turning and the visibility of the drone or of the MSAT's camera. This does show up and work just like as if a drone does. It does trigger all those notifications automatically going out to everyone uh, that you have identified it to go to. So inside of this, the easiest way to download, of course, the DroneSense app is on a iOS device is using the App Store, searching DroneSense and downloading it just like you regularly would for any download onto an iOS device. If it's on an Android, we do, are now in the Google Play Store, so you can download it directly that way too uh, on any of your Android phones or tablets. Inside of the actual application, let me go to here. I'm going to go ahead and close this out real fast. One second. Go back into the application. Hold on. It will close on my phone. So I'm going to close that application. Going to go into the drone sense application. Log in. Of course, once you fully logged into the application, you'll have the same pin as if it was a um, like you were logging into your drone. James, I see the, the question that you had there that inset appears to be a battery drain on cell phones. And is there anything that could or would help with that? We are working on ways for that to run in the background. I am unsure when that will be available uh, or how far along they are on that currently. But for it to actively track your GPS location and stream that, unfortunately, that does put a toll on your system on your phone. Just like if you were playing any of the games that actively track your position for the GPS or stream video and like record a movie or, or record anything upon your phone, it is an active drain to the battery. It is a battery backup. That is one of the easiest ways to ensure you continue having power for those devices. I can uh, throw something in from the peanut gallery. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Another problem solving thing that I've done with regard to, um, you know, power consumption. There's also a heat issue sometimes, especially if you've got an iPad out in the sun. Oh, yes. Uh, 
I keep um, disposable, uh, you know, cold packs uh, in the drone case. So if I need to, I could bust one and stick it on the back of the iPad if it's trying to crap out on me. Oh, you're awesome for that. That is a yeah, perfect yeah. example to cover that, especially in the heat that we're all experiencing this summer. That is a great way to ensure that your uh, devices stay cool and keep from overheating. All right. So once you're in here and you go to log in for the MSAT, as easy as clicking on the streaming and tracking, selecting the mission that you are on, making sure that your call sign is correct. If you're joining with just location data instead of the cell phone, to instead of the video feed, which does save a little bit upon battery, you can pick all of your different type of icons in here to select and choose from. Let's hold on. I think that's blocking it. There we go. So you have all of these different icons in here. I'm going to select a dog, hit join, load directly into my actual page here. I can have, I've got my actual camera covered. I'm going to blow up the map here. And this is also a cached map. So this is a cached image uh, on here. You can come in, you can cache out your uh, satellite imagery if you would like. You can also load any of those layers that you have actively uh, went out and mapped and ran through something like Pix4D or something along that lines to map out that ortho mosaic. So you're able to have that live on your device here. That's what I have right here is my little piece of property that I mapped out just to kind of show where it was. You also have the availability to load in all of your satellite data. Let's go with the hybrid here. And then go to where I'm at. You can see all the icons that we drop on the device. We have the availability to drop icons directly on the map that populate not only here, but also populate over in the drone sense map here. Turn me back on here. So that that shows up there, and it will also show up if you drop from your drone sense ops hub. If I have my layers turned on upon my, I don't have my layers turned on upon my phone, so. All right. So that allows you to come in and have that MSAT device. I wish my dog was closer. I'd go throw it in his pack and have him run around and run across my field like he likes to. It shows it tracking. One of the other things that's great about this is if a drone is active and in the air, you can also see that aircraft listed on here. All right, and then there are multiple ways to actually bring that feed directly in. If you have an Android phone or a uh, Android tablet, you can use a capture card. So I hunt one down to actually bring it up and turn on my video feed here. You can actually use a capture card like this device right here. It's an HDMI in to type C to allow you to bring in any type of HDMI feeds into the device. I wish we could do it on iPhones, but unfortunately Apple does not allow video in through their port on the bottom of the feet on the bottom of the phone. Uh, there's only a video out system on their phones currently. Then you do have the availability to use a lot of different equipment to hook up seeing where my kid moved my case or my bag um, to actually run to adapt that from was it VGA, RCA, uh, multiple different types of feeds into HDMI to bring that into your device or phone. All right, and that's pretty much it for the, the general use of the MSAT, it can be used along with 
any type of person or object that you're sending out into the field to get that exact location data of where it's from. We can connect that to other robotics to send that out so you have a uh, feed from it off the remote. Or I've seen also people strap it directly to those robots uh, to go out in the field so you know exactly where that's going and where that is broadcasting at. Cole, let's say we got a quiet group today. I know. Or it sounds like. Uh, it has been a couple a of things. <laughs> I did want to couple, cover a couple of things. One, which came up just the other day, um, we found out that uh, I guess certain Android devices, I guess, don't support, this is a little technical, but don't support 64 bit. And uh, this agency was trying to use, I think it was a Galaxy A13, which apparently only supports 32 bit. So if you are looking to use MSAT uh, mm -hmm. on an Android device, uh, just probably you know going to, or focusing on one of the the Galaxy, uh, the higher level you know Samsung Galaxy devices is, is safer than going for one of the budget uh, ones or one of the less expensive ones because it looks like those don't uh, readily support uh, the uh, the our version of the app. And uh, yeah, we've got Sean uh, letting us know he's used it with the Recon Robotics Throwbot. Uh, Sean, did that have a video output on it, or was that the one that uh, streams over the web? I know there's a couple different ones out there. It's got an RCA video output. Um, I bought one off of Amazon that did not work. And then uh, I ended up contacting our Recon Robotics rep, and uh, she sent me one that they sell, and that one did work. Um, okay. I never asked the price of it, and she's never asked for it back. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> nice of them. All right. Share screen. Chrome. Share. I've got... Coit up here up on the phone now. <laughs> Looks like he has a chest rig on. <laughs> We're mounting his, his phone too, so he can pop it onto that. Okay. And as you can see here, it'll show the direction he's at, what he's reaching for. Looks like it's shot from one of those um, horrible first-person view movies at the moment. <laughs> And as you can see here, too, you have the little breadcrumb trail of everywhere he's going, everything he's looking at and facing with the, his front there. And as he walks around upon his property out here, you'll be able to see all the trails and everything easily. So you know exactly where your person is going, especially in those search and rescue situations where you are having to walk a line. You're looking for, you know, a kid lost out in the woods, something along that. That this makes it very easy. And then if you have a drone in the air. It will show the drone on the map, both on his MSAT and here in Ops Hub and upon the drone. So the drone can see where Coit is currently, too. And we are able to really pinpoint and search a location very well with this. Thank you all very much for joining us today. And as always, stay safe out there. Looking forward to working with you all on the next basic training 